folks, we're at it again. Another core review. Um, it's the Core's Elite versus the Curse. These are the new 2018 sets from uh, Walmart. Walmart exclusive. You can see the new arrival. Walmart only sticker right there. We're going to be taking a look at uh, this young fella right here mainly. Um, Titan Tyrell Atlas. Uh, he's with the Curse faction. He's a jungle survivalist and extreme power lifter. So the bad guys have some really gnarly guys on their team now. And, uh, yeah, meet the new members of the Curse, Anti-Cores, Cybernetic, and Warfare Division. So, yeah, we got there's some baddies. Got some baddie, baddie, baddies. And uh, it's funny because I forgot in my last review. And to, oh, here's, here's old El Jefe or Jeff on the uh, Rancor motorcycle. I forgot to even mention this, the freaking motorcycle. And because uh, I was so flabbergasted by the coolness of the new figures and the articulation and stuff. And the detail that I, I totally forgot about these little extra doodads like the drone helicopter that uh, this set comes with. Which is a cool little piece. Cool little extra that they throw in there. Because they don't have to do that, but they do that. And that's awesome that Lenard does that. Got little guns on the little skids and stuff. And yeah, it's cool. Cool little drone thing. Awesome. And you get two um, of the old school core figures. I forget this guy's name. should have looked these up in my old figures and... Uh, but I didn't do it, so I wasn't going to do it, whatever. But uh, this guy does not want to stand up. He's pretty warped. I guess you would have to boil him in hot water and uh, or get maybe a heat gun or something to kind of forge his legs to stand. But he will not stand. Comes with two really groovy pistols you could use, I guess, on Titan if you wanted to. And then you get this guy, the bird man, the uh, goose, mother goose, or ice man, whatever you want to call him. The generic pilot guy. You get him. He's pretty cool. And he, and he actually has, well, let's get into it because I didn't do that. He got three points with this guy. He's pretty much almost a staction figure. This guy got way more points. Got shoulder. You got a, a lower bicep swivel, a hinge. Head turns. Waist twisty. Hips. Knee joints. And that's about it for Bird, man. He, that's pretty much what he can do. Not a whole lot, but yeah, still cool, still a good figure. But yet, yeah, not like the classic uh, core figures where they um, were pretty much like G.I. Joe's. Pretty much had the old school G.I. Joe articulation. And now we get to Titan. This this guy is rad. That's his name, right? Titan? Yeah, Titan. I was going to say Titus. Like Christopher Titus, the comedian. But um, yeah, this guy is sick. He's like, much like Jeff, he's a huge dude. He's got some weird kind of cursed tech thingy i don't know if it's a tattoo or just some kind of some kind of weird i guess it's some kind of curse technology nano biotechnology or whatever you want to call it and like i said the articulation is sick just man got a swivel a hinge an elbow you got a crotch joint or a hip crotch whatever knee bend waist twisty Pistol, I don't know, the pistols are cool, but they sit pretty loose, so you kind of want to watch out, you don't want to lose them. It also has a knife, a beige knife or whatever, that fits right in there for safekeeping. It's a big old Rambo knife, and he's got, with this figure, he's got a mask that comes right off, so you can check him out, that handsome face, handsome dude, and then, yeah. Plop that mask right back on. And I'm, I'm not sure if you could use it with other figures. It would be pretty cool if you could. But yeah. These figures just scream awesomeness. And he's got a cursed skull I guess. Or just a skull on his holster. And just a lot of good sculpting and detailing. Pretty much the same gear as Jeff I believe. It's all my name is Jeff. But yeah. Same thing but yeah. Either way, it's cool. He's a good figure. It's really awesome. I don't know. I like these guys a lot. And once again, my buddy Coldfront78 on Instagram hooked me up with these figures because I haven't been able to find them recently. Maybe I can now. I'm not sure because I know a Rampage figure started popping up in our areas, but I still haven't seen them yet. So then again, I haven't been to Walmart in a while. But either way, I'm stoked. These are awesome figures. Menard's just always knocking out of the park as usual. And yeah, if you can get out to Walmart and find these, do it because they're not too... 
too expensive. I think they're about four bucks a pack, so you can get four packs for at least twenty or over, you know, twenty some change. And that's not a bad deal. And once again, thanks for watching this review. More cores review on the way. Definitely. I think I got about two more packs left. And yeah, we're in for a good time. Anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. And yeah, I always appreciate everybody stopping by, leaving comments and likes and stuff like that. And people subscribing. Appreciate it. Appreciate it a whole bunch. And um, yeah, some more core stuff definitely on the way. Thanks, y'all. Have a good one.